U.S. meat processing plants in need of labor rely on migrant workers to bridge production gaps. With the rise in Central American migration, some miners illegally enter this workforce. This month, more than two dozen miners were found working illegally in a Kidron, Ohio poultry plant reportedly from Guatemala. NBC News reports the miners were allegedly engaged in meat processing and sanitation roles for Gerber's poultry processing plant. U.S. labor law prohibits anyone under the age of 18 from working in meat processing facilities due to high risk for injury. Video evidence on TikTok showed Homeland Security and the FBI surrounding the plant, checking identification and inquiring about sanitation procedures during their investigation. No arrests were made and legal repercussions for Gerber's poultry plant remain uncertain. Marissa Darden, the lawyer representing Gerber, declined to comment on the allegations when asked by NBC News, stating, quote, We don't have any comment at this time. We are cooperating. We just can't talk about it. The incident serves as a stark reminder of the ongoing challenges related to labor and immigration issues in the United States. Back in July, a 16-year-old Guatemalan migrant died while cleaning machinery at a poultry plant in Mississippi. And in February, Packer Sanitation Services Incorporated paid $1.5 million in penalties after the Department of Labor found it had illegally employed more than 100 children ranging from 13 to 17 years old. Advocates and lawyers stated that some child workers for Packer Sanitation were unaccompanied minors who crossed the U.S. southern border. In fiscal year 2023, the Department of Labor reported 955 cases with child labor violations. Nearly 200 of those cases were hazardous occupation violations. Thanks for watching. Straight Arrow News is on a mission to bring you unbiased, fact-based reporting, and we are succeeding. Two leaders in media bias monitoring talked to viewers just like you and confirmed we're delivering the news right down the middle. So if you prefer a source that gives it to you straight, catch all the unbiased content at san.com.